Hello everyone, in today's video we will be looking at Paz Vizsla from the Vintage Collection. So, here's the box. Um, it's a big image on the front. Yeah, there he is holding the heavy machine gun. And on the side we've got him here with the little uh, shield thing, I forget what it's called, on his arm. And then here you've just got him with the blade at the bottom. And there's the back with, looks like everything that comes with it, which is cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this opened up. Okay, so straight out of the box, he's on the card by there. And all the accessories are in that little bag by there. So I'll get that opened up now. Okay, so here he is straight off of that bit of cardboard and he's looking awesome so far. Um, I've been looking forward to this one. It's just taken forever to get here. Um, and it's, yeah, he's finally arrived now. Um, and the paintwork looks awesome. I am impressed. Like from pictures and stuff I've seen of him, he, he looked good, but um, he's definitely better. Like now i've got it in my hands um uh, you've got like all these little silvery little markings and dents and stuff all over his armor which look cool um yeah just the paintwork in general is really good on this you've got the belt there that's quite detailed and then it feels like yeah swivel there on the waist just by the belt like a I think the chest is on like a ball as well, so it's sort of like you've got two articulation points there. The arms go up, and it's a soft plastic on the shoulders, which allows for the yeah allows for more movement, which is nice. Um, I think it's the same on his feet. Yeah, it feels like a softer plastic down here. I think yeah, you've got the rocker ankles as well. Um, so yeah, is I don't know like. The articulation is great. Yeah, there's a hole there. This is like a soft plastic as well. All the articulation that we used to get in there. But the paintwork is really good. I like these little marks on here. Like the battle damage and stuff. I think they, they look really good. Um, so yeah, that's the figure. Then his accessories are the jetpack here which is cool. Yeah, this is all one piece, which, I don't know, maybe you could argue that that could have been able to come off, so you could just have the jetpack on his back without having this, because then on the end of here is the like machine gun thing, clips on via that, and then he holds it there, I believe. Yeah, that bit moves, so he holds it the other hand like that. Yeah, that's cool. The paintwork on that is good. It's like a silvery effect going into like a bluey silver, which is nice. And then down here, it's more of a solid sort of grey. Well, even then, it's not. It's not I don't know if it's solid grey or like a silvery grey, but yeah, that looks good. You've got the, like a knife there. I don't know if that's his vibro blade or not. Uh, there's not a lot of detail on it. So it could just be a normal knife, but obviously he does have the the vibro blade, and then a little sort of like energy shield type thing. I don't know. I think they probably got a proper name. If you know that, let me know because I don't know if I know it or if I've just forgotten it. But yeah, that's the shield anyway. And then you have these two effects here for his jetpack, and one for the end of the rifle. So yeah, first impressions, he looks fantastic. And with all these accessories as well, I don't know how I'm going to pose him because it'd be cool to put the knife in his hand with the little shield. And it would also be cool to hold him how he is on the box with the uh, heavy machine gun. So I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to pose him because uh, that's I'm sort of sport for choice there with these accessories. But yeah, we'll get him set up and we'll talk a bit more about him. Okay, so some final thoughts 
on this figure. He's awesome. Um, I would say it's probably one of the few sort of deluxe figures that we've had where I really feel like it could be, maybe, because the size of him, he's I think he's to scale. I've put him up against another Mando figure here for, for scale, and I think it looks pretty accurate. And so it's a new sculpt and everything. He, like I say, he's a big, big guy. There's a, there's a fair bit of detail on there. The paintwork is all great. And the accessories are pretty fantastic as well. Uh, you get all these different things. Like I said, I don't know how I, um, what way I'm going to pose him yet. I've sort of set him up like this just so you can kind of see everything on display. Um, well, as much as I can put on display. But um, yeah, I just think it's a fantastic figure. Really good. Um, it would have been cool to see him maybe on a normal card back. You know, there's that whole thing again. But... At the same time, this guy is huge. Like, he's bigger anyway, so the bubble would have taken up more of the card, and then you've got the accessories as well. So it would have been quite a big bubble, so they probably would have had to cut down on some of the accessories, which I would rather get it in a box like this, uh, if that's the case. And so, yeah, I've set him up in this way to sort of showcase all of his attachments at the same time, I guess. Um, the blade or vibro blade whatever it is is in his boot which is cool it slots in there and there is a slot on the back of the jetpack for the sort of minigun heavy blaster to attach onto there which is nice as well i love the the character in the show i think he is awesome he's had some uh, badass moments especially in this latest season i won't uh, spoil anything um just watched at the time of recording this just watched yesterday uh episode seven um and yeah he had a pretty badass moment in that so this was quite good timing for him to arrive after that so yeah um awesome figure really pleased to add him to my collection of mando figures and it's about time really because in the black series like everything else they've had him for years and they've had they got the uh the john favreau version as well which I don't know if I'm that bothered about that because, um, you know, like it, it's cool. It's cool as like a, a, you know, a unique deluxe kind of figure. I guess that's what he looks like under the helmet. But, you know, yeah, this guy is awesome. Like the detail on everything, even the jetpack is really nice. I love that yellowy paint. I don't know if he looks a bit more beat up in the show. I feel like when we've seen him in the show, he's... Uh, looks a bit grubby and a bit rugged and worse for wear especially his jetpack because his jetpack looks clean on this figure which i like looks very nice but i do wonder if that is the case but that's not a complaint because i do think he is awesome and like i said you've got all the detail like the silver battle damage and everything else so yeah i would say he's on point with everything i was worried about the scale but he looks like he's pretty on point to me uh, the helmet is in proportion as well so yeah Another fantastic figure that I'm uh, finally glad to add to my collection. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. Um, and let me know your thoughts below. I'm always happy to hear everyone's thoughts. And of course, you can follow me on other social medias as well if that is something you're interested in. And yeah, just thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.